Chattanooga's Humane Education Society welcomed 10 dogs into their care as part of a 200 dog rescue effort from a Korean meat market. Abigail Martin has the story. The Humane Educational Society welcomes 10 dogs into their care. They will assess each one and move them into foster homes to begin their journey of finding a forever home. So it's kind of uncharted territory for us, but we think that we're equipped to do it because these animals have lived in similar conditions to other ones that we've rescued before. So. The Humane Educational Society received a call a few weeks ago saying a dog meat market in South Korea would be shut down. Executive Director Rebecca Bryan says this is the 18th dog meat farm to be closed by Humane Society International. She says it's important to know that most Koreans believe this practice is unethical. She says the dogs have been kept in small, unclean cages. I think that they'll have a permanent ban relatively soon for this, so I think that's a big step forward for them. HES offered to rescue 10 of the 200 dogs and welcome them with open arms. Brian says the dogs are being assessed and will soon enter foster homes. Ideally, this will prepare them for adoption a little bit better um, than just waiting in the kennel. Plus, we don't want to take them from, you know, one cage and put them into our kennel. So. Brian says putting the dogs in foster homes will allow them to learn more about each dog so they can be matched for adoption. She says at first the dogs may be hesitant to trust people, but eventually their personalities will emerge. Brian is grateful HES can help rescue dogs. She credits the staff, volunteers, supporters, and fosters for helping these dogs get a loving home. It takes a lot to get these guys in and evaluated all the care they need and back out into, um, into the community. If you would like to donate or apply for adoption, visit our website for more information. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.